there are secrets in God that are not for the public. I will show you how God becomes a personal God, not a congregational God. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, He, because this is a journey for every individual. It's not we, it's not them. He that dwelleth in the secret place. And then see verse 2. He didn't say, They shall say. He said, I will say of the Lord. The Lord is the Lord of everybody. But everybody may not have the authority to say it. I will say of the Lord. He is my. He didn't say he's our refuge. That's why 10,000 people can be in the church. One person has never seen an affliction. But you see 100 others. Because it's not we will say of our refuge. I will say he is my refuge. And then he went further. And my fortress. This is the one that blew my mind. My God. In him will I trust. When you begin to journey with God, he's no longer the God of Abraham. He's no longer the God of Isaac. He's no longer the God of Jacob. He's no longer the God of Apostle Michael Ropo. He becomes my God. So you are no longer trusting in the God of Abraham. You are no longer just trusting in the God of Isaac. You can now say, my God, in him will I trust. And because he has become your God, you can define the different dimensions of his faithfulness. You can know that this business cannot collapse. Not just because I quoted the verse of scripture. Because I have seen my God show so much faithfulness. So I know this business cannot go down. This is the journey of intimacy. This one is not for a congregation. It's for every individual. If you will get to that point where he can become my God. Then you must be ready to travel in the place of prayer. Too many Christians gather in a church and because we have also weaponized the doctrine of covering, we have made many Christian babies. So people won't pray. People won't fast. People won't see God. When you ask them, they are arguing. I have a cover over my head. I have a cover. You are infants. You are not ready to grow. You, when, you, when you meet the severity of life, you will shut up. And if you are honest to yourself, you will know that thank God for those covers. But many of your life's battle, you will fight it for yourself. There are places where if you don't know God, you are doomed. Have you not seen people who died under the most potent covers? Have you not seen people who are sick under the most potent covers? Are we honest to ourselves? Which of the so-called covering in the body of Christ today, have you not seen somebody under them have accident and died? Have you not seen somebody have sickness and died? Does this in any way mean that covering is not important? No. Paul said, when I leave you, he said, grievous works shall come. So there is a place of spiritual covering. But I'm telling you, God did not excuse intimacy for covering. You must know God for yourself. Otherwise, you are a joker. And the day battles come, that's when you will discover that only those who have testimonies talk on the altar. The ones who don't have testimonies, they condole with them and say it is well. God will help you. If you don't want to be part of those who will be condoled with, better go and seek God for yourself. There is a journey that everyone must embark with God. He said, Enoch walked with God and was not. Enoch walked. Your name must be written that you too walk with God. This nonsense of pursuing mantles and having no walk with God. Be careful. Again, there is a place for mantles. There is a place for impartation. That's why I began by teaching you. Even Paul taught it in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 3 and 4. The place of the laying on of hands. But if you don't have a walk with God and you keep deceiving yourself, pursuing mantles, people will travel, go and stay somewhere for three months to see a prophet, to see an apostle. But they are at home one year they have not gone to save who stay with god and there's a delusion about mantle about impartation and many will not see god if you leave your christianity in that shallow realm you will suffer you will suffer go and ask everybody making impact although they respect the place of covering but every level in their journey they will tell you god told me god told me God told me.
God told me. Once in a while, a covering can be a system of intervention. But the journey is about God told me. The journey is about God met me. The journey is about I walked with God. That's what will take you to your inheritance. This is why prayer becomes personal. Nobody can pray for another person. Once in a while, God can use a man or a system to intervene. But the journey of life is one that you must make for yourself. Jesus was speaking in Luke 22 verse 41. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan desires to have you to sift you as wheat. He said, but I've prayed for you that your faith faileth not. He said, when thou art recovered, strengthen thy brethren. That's the place of covering. That's the place of intervention. Paul said, when I leave you, grievous wolves shall come to make disciples after themselves. But you see, a day came when Peter had to pray for himself. A day came when Peter had to learn to walk with God. Because the journey of life is intimacy based. It's not covering based. Covering is only an interventive system of advantage. But if it stops you from having a walk with God, you were deceived. Prayer. System of intimacy. That's where you access the secrets of God. Sir, can I tell you something? You are very poor if you have no secret with God. No matter the name you have, no matter what you have in your account, your wealth is the secret that you have with God.